So we all have heard the saying, love will find you when you least expect it. In Kristen Higgins' newest romance novel, In Your Dreams, two friends turn to each other when one needs a wedding date and the other needs a weekend getaway. Kristen is a two-time winner of the Romance Writers of America Award and New York Times and USA Today best-selling author. And we are so excited to have you back here on Connecticut Style, Kristen. Thank you. Um, so this is the fourth book in the mm -hmm. series. And without giving away the entire story, right. give us uh, the plot here. Okay, so Emily Neal is a tough girl, police officer, and she gets an invitation to the last event any woman would ever want to attend, her ex-fiance's wedding to the woman he threw her over for. Ugh. So she's certainly not going to go alone, and she asks... But she is going to go. Oh, yeah, she <laughs> has to go, has okay. to represent... So she asks uh, Jack Holland to be her friend and date for the day. So uh, for the weekend, actually, it's in Malibu. Now, Jack thinks getting out of town would be a great idea. He's just rescued four teenage boys from drowning after a car accident. And uh, one of the boys isn't doing so well. So Jack is very uncomfortable with all this hero worship and media attention. Mm -hmm. And his ex-wife comes back to town and says, you know, oh. I think we should get back together. So he thinks a weekend away, that would be perfect. Very good. And uh, at the wedding, one thing leads to another, and they maybe start seeing each other. Ah, interesting. We see, right? We'll have to see how that develops then, right? <laughs> exactly. So, uh, Kristen, you kind of use your wit and your humor to, to address some serious issues, yes. like a body image in this one. Yeah, you know, um, there's so many books that deal with um, weight and body issues with women, and I, I what I wanted to do this time was... Um, have a man experience this. So in the book, Kevin, uh, the ex-fiance, was obese and battled obesity most of his life. And if you watch those shows like uh, The Biggest Loser or something, you see these incredible transformations mm -hmm. of people physically. And I wondered, what does that do to your character and your personality and your worldview as you, as you melt away? Mm -hmm. Um, so that was really fun to explore, and um, I think I think readers will have a lot of fun with with that wedding and and the fitness aspect too. Huh. Does this personality change a little bit? It changes a lot. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Now, where do the story ideas come from? Um, you know, I I generally tend to go from real life, from my own experiences or stories that I've heard. But I loved the idea of having to face down. Um, your past in mm -hmm. that respect and, and the man that you loved. And for Jack, uh, my, my husband is a first responder and I know that um, a lot of times you leave a little piece of your soul at scenes, especially when they don't go well. Mm -hmm. So it was, um, it was good to explore that too. Very good, and you are on a book tour right now? Yes, yes, just back from uh, the great Midwest. <laughs> And um, headed to Maryland and then off to European book tour. Fantastic. Yeah, That'll so. be great. Uh, so do you ever take ideas from your fans or are they in contact with you? Yeah, my fans are very open with me and I get a lot of uh, mail that says, you should write yeah, a book right? about me. <laughs> I have the greatest story for you. Um, and sometimes, you know, I love to hear their stories. Mm -hmm. I, I can't say that I've ever boosted someone's idea, though. <laughs> <laughs> you stick to your own ideas, though? I do, huh? yeah. Uh, so what's next for you? Is there another uh, another in the series? Yeah, well, I, I will have one more book in this series, but my next book out is actually a women's fiction novel about two sisters dealing with, um, with their life and relationship issues. One is divorced and uh, not quite over her ex-husband, although he has moved on and, and has a baby with his new wife. And, um, and the other is living sort of this Martha Stewart <laughs> stay-at-home mommy dream and finds out that her husband is cheating on oh. her. So that book is called If You Only Knew, and it comes out in late spring. Very good. And where can we find your current book? Um, you can find it in bookstores everywhere or go to my website, kristenhiggins.com. Very good. Kristen, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. All right.